Hello, today we're going to talk about the probability distribution function, uh, sorry, probability distribution table. And I put a table up here, and these are the probability numbers, uh, probability of number of peas with green pods among eight offspring peas. So if you look at the first column, the, this is the number of peas and the probability that um, they have green pods. So let's say you have two peas. The probability that they have green pods would be 0 0.004. We go down to number seven. If you have seven peas, the probability that you get green pods is 0.267. So these are the number of peas and the corresponding probabilities. So let's say I wanted to figure out the probability of getting exactly six pods with green peas. So the only thing you have to do is, I'll write it out, the probability that you get exactly six pods with green peas would be point. 311. I'm just reading the probability straight across. Let's say you wanted to figure out the probability of getting six or more. So six or more would be probability that x is greater than or equal to six. So what you would do is you would look at all the probabilities greater than or equal to six. So that would be 0 0.311 plus 0 0.267 plus point 0.1 and you would add up all three of those numbers. Let's see if I have my calculator around here. Oh here it is. I'll calculate it for you real quick. And I get the answer as point 0.678. Let's say I wanted to figure out the probability that I have less than five less than five or you can say less than or equal to five that would be better so I would go to five and I will look at all the probabilities less than or equal to five so five is point two zero eight plus the um, point zero eight seven the one before that that's for four and then for three is point zero two three and then the last one is point zero zero four. You can put in the other zeros for one and zero, but they don't count. It would just be zero. So let's add these up. And I get point three two two. Okay, so you can find different probabilities from this table. Let's say if you wanted to figure out the probability that the number uh you get between three and five peas with green pots. Um, you would count the probabilities up between three and five. So that would be for three, it would be this, for four, it would be this, and then for five, it would be this. Okay, if it says inclusive, um, if, for example, if it says what's the probability that you get uh, between three and five pods, uh, peas, inclusive, that means you have to include the three, you have to include the five. Alright, so this is how you read the probability distribution table. Hope this helps.